What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, and this is not one of my normal videos. That's right, if you look up here, Double Masters Draft League. So, pretty much, I'm looking through the set, and there are Tron lands in it. So, of course, we're going to try and draft a Tron deck. Uh, have to give it a try, just have to. Uh, 25 to enter. I'm going to try and record this whole thing uh, instead of just doing a usual, uh, you know, one video here and there. I uh, may take a break in the middle. We shall see. Uh, so, yep, we'll go ahead and join. And rating for more people to draft with. Going to take a minute. But, yeah, pretty much there's enough of Tron in here. I think we're going to be able to at least pick up a few Tron lands. Going to be interesting because we are going to actually try and draft Tron. I may try and pick up a couple other cards, uh, but I really want to build a Tron deck here. It's, it's going to be the gimmick of the video. I mean, I'm a Tron player, and how often can you draft Tron unless you're doing a really old draft? Which could be fun also. I should check out and see if that's available at any point. But, all right, going to take a few seconds. More than a few seconds, we got four of eight. You know, it occurs to me, I don't actually know how long these drafts take to join. I've only done a couple, and they were more standard drafts for... So... what? Alright, what are we hoping for? Now, we're not going to build a perfect Tron deck, although I'm at like 70% of the Tron deck is in this set. But we're just not going to see enough of the rares to hit that. What we are probably going to be able to get are the Tron lands, if not a full 12, a uh, decent number. Um, Expedition map is a possibility, Ancient Stirrings. If we go green, uh, they've also got the cards for Dice Factory in here and for Blue Tron. So we, we can go uh, Tron routes in a couple different ways. We could try a Mono Red Tron, a couple different options. Uh, we'll just have to get in there and see what we can get. I'm going into this completely blind. I know the uh, cards that are in the set, but I haven't looked up what decks are the best or anything like that. In fact, I didn't even know this was live yet. I just logged on today um, and was like, huh, I can draft this. Two minutes into the video. I'm going to put a timestamp below um, and to tell you when this actually starts. I don't know how I do that yet, but I'm going to figure out how to do that and get that in there. Because this is taking a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. By the way, there's a hurricane outside my door right now. I'm in North Carolina, so we are getting uh, hit. Uh, I'm in the rain band right now, so I don't have much of the wind. But it's definitely storming. And it's uh, probably going to pick up more tomorrow than it is today. But I am definitely in the rain being pushed from it. Uh, getting rain. Uh, it's not the heaviest at the moment. Let me look out this window. Uh, light drizzle, but we've had uh, just bands of heavy rain, which typically how the outer bands of these look. I'm uh, going to try and finish this tonight, though. Uh, I recorded all my, uh, like, five modern videos last night, uh, just because. Uh, I So if you don't know, I do storm work, uh, so there's a chance anytime there's a hurricane, I may disappear for a week or two. Um, and I'm waiting to see if that's going to happen with this storm. I usually find out a day or two after it hits. So if uh, I've got eh, probably four videos plus this video going to be in the pipeline. So if you know after the next like five videos, eh, probably six or seven, I can probably squeeze in a few more. Uh, I just disappear. No, I'm out there uh, working uh, some job site, either North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh, we are almost four minutes in. Wait, some. Oh, cool. All right. Draft has started. What do we have? Brainstorm, Priest Rider, no Tron lands. Do we start off with the rare, or is there something better here? I'm going to go for 
We'll start off with a brainstorm. Oh, select two? Interesting. That's an interesting way to do a draft. Was unaware it was going to be select two. Looks like we're going to have a few minutes. We didn't get any Tron lands, but just a couple good cards. All right, what do we have here? A rare Iron, Iron Storm's not that good. No Tron lands either. And we'll take a Reclamation Sage and probably a Flooded Grove. Oh, we only get one. All right, well, we'll take the Flooded Grove. Okay, so it's two in the first pack, right? Well, I'm getting a flood warning. That's pretty interesting. Oh, well, we get our first Tron land. We are going for Tron, so we will take a Tron land. I know it's going to be very gimmicky. I'm. Uh, that's going to be. That's the reason I'm doing it, though. This is going to be. Can we draft Tron? So of course we need the Tron land. Uh, it's looking leaning towards blue green Tron right now. We'll see what other cards are getting taken. Tron lands, especially online, are going to become cheap, though. It's going to be really easy to get into Tron. Second Urza's Mind. Oh, between the two, we're going to go for the Mana Reflections. We already have one mine, although we do need to find more Tron lands. Blue green definitely seems the direction that we could pivot at some point though. We're still on pack or yeah, pack one. Oop. What do we have here? Oh, core tapper. Grabbing this trap. Um, we'll take the core tapper. I know people are probably looking at me going, why are you drafting this way? These are not the cards you want. But honestly, I'm not really a big drafter. So I'm definitely not probably drafting this the way I should. Ooh, ancient stirrings. Anything better? All right, we'll take an Ancient Stirrings. Interesting time between booster packs here. I've never, again, I've never uh, recorded a draft, so, uh, and it's been a while since I've did, honestly, I think I did a different format for draft. Uh, this feels like a live draft, so other, I've got either other people in it with me. Yeah, I feel like I've seen these cards before. Uh, we'll take a Relic Runner.
Uh, yeah, we'll take a fairy machinist. I like flying. Leaning heavily blue green. But we want to have some colorless stuff in there too if we're running the ancient stirrings. See if we get another shot at that Tron land. Yeah, we'll take the Peace Strider. Not seeing much of the colors left, so. Little blue, little green, take whatever we can get. Yeah, we'll take. that and we'll go for a blue because we picked up a lot of blue just gotta wait a moment for the next pack I'll take a brainstorm all right waiting for the next booster pack that selecting two at the beginning is a very interesting mechanic Here's crossing our fingers, we get some good Tron stuff. Alright, no Tron lands. Path to exile. Hmm. That's expensive though. Yeah, I think we want the path, and yeah, it's in the right colors. All right, we'll take these two. I kind of want the path, but nah. You know what? I don't want other people having the path. I'll take that and the hinder. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll take the reclamation stage here, I believe. Not seeing any Tron land, so that's a little worrying. We've got just the one. Somebody else took the other mine. So somebody else may be trying to draft Tron. We need, I mean, we're halfway through and uh, yeah. Come on, show me tower or power plant. They'll be probably the first pick and if I see them. Take a minute for this. Let's sort by. Color, all right. Be just a minute here. There we go. Oh, uh, well, what do we need? Yeah, we'll take an invigorate, right? Yep. No search notes, not bad. Got a search note and a core tapper.
And we don't find the other Tron lands though, which we'll see. Come on, Tron lands. Nope. I'll take a metallic rebuke. This does not feel like we're getting there. Of these, we'll take the Veteran Explorer. And we'll take a Treasure Mage. Uh, the Reclaimer. I'm going a little quicker on these. No, it's unlikely we're going to find Tron in this. Unfortunate. I think somebody else may be grabbing the Tron lands. The next question is, will we encounter Tron? Let me readjust that camera a bit. Just waiting for the next booster pack. Yep, we'll take that one. Uh, we need more creatures. This is feeling like a weird draft. When did I draft this? I think my I think it's draft like I think my screen's gone weird a couple times. Like when it does that, but nothing pops up on my screen. I guess we'll take the meddling mage. All right, one pack left. Only one Tron land. It is not looking good for our chances of getting Tron. Even a single set. I mean, we've got the mine. We need a power plant and a tower. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we're getting Tron. <laughs> Definitely not the best or the, the favorite pack one pick one, but it gives me Tron, so I will take it. We have Tron. Want to give me an expedition map now? Looking like blue-green Tron. Uh, we do need some bigger things, too. That was a pretty good pack. Those are the other people uh, drafting with. Booster three or three. It's 
Let's go ahead and move this up. So go ahead and start dropping things we're not going to want in the main board here. Likely we're not going to be running any white mana. Hope. Ooh. Terastodon. Well, that's a big threat. We will take a Terastodon. Oh, he's willing to take another Ancient Stirrings. What else are we going to find? We have a lot of brainstorms, a lot of ancient stirrings. Yeah. Although we could do, huh? we could try and switch to a blue white or uh, something like decent blue or white cards, but it'd be tricky at this stage. What do we want here? Probably the metallic rebuke. We do need an artifact for charge counters, so I don't think we've seen any of those, so those probably aren't the best. Clone shell. What do we want here? Uh, we will take a, you know what, treasure hunter. Squirrel tokens, do we want that? We'll take Russian knowledge. Nope, yep, that seems decent. Brainstorm or Peace Strider? Brainstorm. Yeah, we need some more creatures. All right. Well, we have a Tron deck, theoretically. Now we just got to build. All right. What do we want to pull out of this? 
We have a bunch of cards. We're keeping the land base, probably. Uh, we didn't really get enough uh, cards for these two to really be playable. We have one seven drop artifact. Six or greater. Yeah, treasure mage, not really playable in this. Mana Reflections produces twice as much mana instead. It's not bad, but is it good? Let me see. Thirty-six. Yeah, we got too many. We need at least forty, but we'll take the Sphinx's Rush of Knowledge. We have a lot of dig with the brainstorms and ancient stirrings. Treasure Keeper, when Treasure Keeper dies, real will top. Yeah, that's not the worst. It's uh, free, yeah, man. it's decent. Oh, yeah, Bloodbriar's not going to do us too much good. That's not the worst. Definitely going to be weird for a Tron deck. I don't think we really need mana reflections. Gelatinous Genesis seems good. We only have a few artifacts, but it's a flying creature. Yeah, Relic Runner. A little on the small side. Alright, what do... That's 32 cards with four lands, so eh, we're still a little high. Yes, 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 we want to keep that, keep that. Come, Yeah, we'll keep the destruction. I like that scry too. I like this. That's not the best. It's a little expensive, but it's good in the sideboard. Oh, these guys, yeah. These guys definitely coming out. We don't really need charge counters. Uh, if we got anything that we could have run with them, we could have gone for a uh, Dice Factory type of build, but I didn't really see anything. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take Hinder, Hinder. Metallic Rebuke. Still a counter spell. All right, let me see. I think that's good. Then about, about even. So we've got four. Six and six, that gives us 16 lands. I think I want to go up one more land, so we will go down. What do we want to go down here? Yeah, we'll go down one Metallic Rebuke. And yet we'll add one more Forest. All right, I think that's going to be good. Let's get this started.
Didn't really get enough to try for a secondary deck here. But yeah, we're finally getting into a matchup where... How far are we into this? We're like 30 minutes into this video and we are just now getting into a matchup. Fun. But we did get Tron, or at least one set of Tron. So let's have some fun. And I think it's a foil tower, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? I can never really tell what's foil in this or not. No, it, I think it's a foil tower and a foil mine. Interesting. All right, first match. Let's go. Can we get Tron in the opening hand? Come on, Tron. Oh, there's a game log. We got the die roll. Always nice. We will definitely like to play first. And... You know what? Keep. We're going to brainstorm first, then Ancient Stirrings. Because, yep. We got the Filter Land. So, Island, Brainstorm. Put two cards back. Um, we'll go down a land and the Sylvan Might right now. That'll be our turn one. Likely I should have put the island back, not the forest. But we still have our backup here. Go ahead and play that. We're going to just run this out at this point. At least get a creature out. All right. Each player who has cast an auto this turn can't cast additional non-artifact spells. Interesting. Not quite what I meant to do there. Alright. Well, we'll take a clone shell. Yeah, a little bit of mistapping there. Not used to these uh, filter lands. Yep. All right, well, we'll go ahead and pass turn here. We're either going to Sylvan Might and block, or we're going to hinder. That does get rid of our target. Yep. And we really can't do anything about that. Um, Cause yeah, I can't cast another non-artifact spell. Yeah. 
Ancient Stirring seems nice, but I think what I want to do here is Clone Shell. Uh, we'll take the one thing that is actually a creature. We'll go ahead and, at and attack. Get in for two. Ancient stirrings. Oh, well, there's the other two Tron lands. Any order. Go ahead and run one out. We'll be holding up a hinder for next turn. We're going to flash that back. Oh, yep, yeah, that works. Um, yep. Yeah. Should have read their cards more. This is a format where I need to. And they have a worm coil on Jen, and I went on. Oh, yep. Well, that's not good. Yeah, worm coil engine's kind of tricky. I'm not sure I can actually beat that. I need the uh, need the card that lets me get rid of artifacts. Yep. Yep. I definitely missed tap last turn. I have counter spells that I did not hold up. We'll run out of treasure keeper. And we may as well swing two in the air. I think Worm Coil Engine is probably the more powerful card here. Yep, we're going to block that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Metallic Rebuke and getting rid of that thing. Well, glad we had it there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means we can get four, four, fours. Would that be enough? Uh, we really want Tron, but we're really far away from getting Tron. No, we're going to hold off on that. We're in a bit of a troubling spot here. If we can get the power plant, then that becomes big. But yeah, we need an answer for that one coil engine. block like that. Okay, well, we're definitely holding up a counter spell next turn. Yeah, pretty much we need to buy ourselves another turn. That's pitting us pretty hard here. They've got a pretty good deck. Hmm. Yeah, that worm coil has put in a lot of work. That doesn't really do us much. But we do get to hinder this.
That's a decent draw. The two three threes will be easier to deal with, though. We can at least stop him from gaining life. We're not out of it just yet, but we are not in a good spot. I think Genesis, uh, gelatinous Genesis, may be if we live the next turn our best chance. Yep. Oh, yep, yeah, that's going to get us. All right, well, game two. What do we want? Eh, I don't think we make any... Uh, tap a permanent produces twice as much mana. Yeah, you know, I think we're going to take that over one of these Sylvan Knights. I should have gone for the ooze a lot sooner. But... Mm. I didn't. I was hoping for Tron to get a big thing. So if we'd played that sooner, we would have had more blockers. We probably would have answered their board state a little bit better. Them having Worm Coil Engine is definitely on the tricky side. And like I said, this isn't my format. I just wanted to see if I could get Tron, and we have a deck with Tron. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. Mine cards, eh, we're a ways off from anything, but I think we keep that. We'll start off with yours as mine. Hopefully we can get Tron. There's a Theraband Inspector. We don't have many early game moves here. I think our earliest is a turn five, so we're hoping to draw something. All right, gonna take one. Do they have a turn two play? They do. That limit of one per turn, yep. Ancient stirrings. Grabbing more land. Yep. Gonna take a bit of damage here. Hopefully we draw a playable. Ooh, treasure keeper, we do. Nice. They're going to draw a card. So pretty much five, six, seven will be the order. And they have a revoke existence. Yep. Mono white seems pretty powerful here. Time is definitely going to be a little bit of an issue, too. All 
right, we'll bottom both of those. I think we got to take that. I would like to play that, but no artifacts. Any order. And we'll put out the veteran explorer. We will go ahead and swing for three in the air. We gotta start doing some damage. We'll go ahead and trade these. And we'll get some lands, which should let us get the Terastodon out. Decent. Urza's Tower, nice. Now we'll get rid of that Tempered Steel. an answer for it. And we get there. Ooh, Blade Spicer is not good. Was, uh, that was a misclick on my part. And he's got us. All right. Well, not a good first game, but not the worst. I am going to go ahead and break these into separate videos because I'm a lot tired and it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Thank you for watching. This is Tectonic Edge signing out.